We feel that, you know, people shouldn't be able to hide in the shadows. The Canadian Anti-Hate Network wants as many people as possible to know who is supporting a far-right group, one that's under investigation by RCMP for potential hate speech. We should really know who in our neighbourhoods are supporting this uh, in, a, in a really a bit to shame them. Hate has no place in our communities, it has no place in our society, and uh, we need to call it out wherever it is. The group plans to post online the identities of more than 250 members of the Canadian Nationalist Party. The goal, it says, is a peaceful conversation. Maybe someone will actually talk to you and try to explain why hate is not okay and why, you know, we should be in, uh, sort of embracing inclusive communities. As of today, the party's members' names and addresses are on the public record at Elections Canada. The department's bound by law to release that information upon request. You know, our expectation is that people will treat that information responsibly because there is some, some personal information there. The leader of the Canadian Nationalist Party said his members are worried about their safety. Some of our members are simply concerned that physical harm may come to them, physical or social harm. The party is under RCMP investigation for possible hate speech because of this video in which the leader denounces what he calls, quote, the parasitic tribe. He says it controls the media and the central bank in Canada. I think it's far too dangerous for us to be taking this action of publicly trying to shame people. Winnipeg's former police chief warns it could lead to serious harm, not just to those on the list, but family members, especially children. I think we probably have seen issues like this in the past and most definitely it could incite violence because we really don't know what actions a person will take when they're confronted with something like this. Since the Canadian Nationalist Party applied for official status, a number of members have asked Elections Canada to remove their name from the paperwork. Their identities will remain unknown, and the party has retained enough members to meet the requirements. Ashley Burke, CBC News, Ottawa.